Now more than ever, the country needs the Secret Service. Unfortunately, it is collapsing right before our eyes. My first book, Crisis of Character, uh, was about my life in the Secret Service. Is that easy? Mr. President, just to President, I was the first employee of the U.S. Secret Service to ever be compelled to testify against the sitting yes, president yes, in a criminal law case in the Monica Lewinsky scam. In my book, The Secrets of the Secret Service, it's about getting the truth out so they can improve that agency to possibly save a, a protectee. Once you retire and you look back at your agency, you'll see it with, with a little bit clearer vision. This is one of the reasons I wrote my second book, The Secrets of the Secret Service. This is about the methods of the Secret Service, almost like a mafia. And, and these higher-ups treat themselves like made men and women, and uh, everybody else is below them. The average man and woman, agent or officer in the Secret Service Uniform Division is doing the best job that they can, but their problem is, is they're working inside a management system that is completely corrupt. When President Barack Obama was president, they let a man that, that wasn't screened with a pistol an armed security guard that had a criminal record get on the elevator with him. And no agent even realized anything was out of place. If that guy had malice in his heart, he could have easily pulled that pistol out and killed the President of the United States. The Secret Service, they tried to play it down, they ignored it, they tried to make it go away. They used the word secret to, to hide all their wrongdoings. With most of the incidents with the Secret Service, you never find out the whole truth until the whistleblowers come forward. The Secret Service are the kings of retaliatory action. They were retaliated against this one agent and somebody that worked with him so bad that the one agent actually took his own life under pressure. Every time there's an incident, they say the same thing. I apologize. And I apologize for the misconduct of these employees and the distraction that it has, that it has caused. We are ashamed uh, and as upset as you are. I'm here today to address the concern that we all share. What hits the hardest is the range of shortcomings that ultimately allowed Omar Gonzalez to enter the White House practically unencumbered. I openly acknowledge that a failure of this magnitude, especially in light of other recent incidents, requires immediate action. This, this is just a one-time thing. And that's not really true when you have to say it five or six times in a, in a 10 year period. That's the modus operandi of the Secret Service. It's not what actually happened, it's what we tell you happened. And they end up putting the president at risk and their other protectees many times like that. You just can't put that away. That, that, that's something that needs to come out and the Secret Service needs to be held accountable for it.